Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Tay and I'm such a lover of beauty and makeup and I love to create lifestyle content. So if that's what you're looking for, you're in the right place. Please do hit that subscribe button because you don't want to be missing out on any future uploads as I'm now uploading every Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So today's video is about creating this eyeshadow look, which I created in one of my previous videos. And a lot of you sent me some DMs asking me how I did it. Some of you praised me about it. So I thought I will create this eyeshadow look with you on video. Video. So if you want to see how to get this eyeshadow look, please keep on watching. So I'm going to start off by priming my eyelids with some concealer. This is the Too Faced Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer going to put a little bit on my eyes what this is going to do is hide any discoloration i've got going on my eyes and also give me a slightly tacky base for my eyeshadows to stick to i'm just using my wet sponge from elf to blend this out Hey guys, sorry for the disturbance. Um, I lost my clip in which I'm showing you the first two steps of this eyeshadow look. And when I was editing, I realized that it wasn't in there. So I'm just going to show you the first two steps and then the rest of the video will carry on as it was. So I have primed my eyelid with the Too Faced Born This Way concealer. And now I'm going to take the Mix Metals Nude Palette from Profusion. And I'm also taking the Milani Crease Brush. And I'm going to take this shade here. And I'm going to lightly dab it into my crease just like that to set it. I'm not dragging it because if I drag it, the concealer's wet, it's not going to stick on well. So I need to dab it to stick the concealer before I start blending this out. And as you can see, I have a very small eyelid. My eyelid stops there. So if I go into my crease along here, it will make my eye look very small. So I have to create a fake crease, which is slightly above my natural crease line. I'm going to take the same shade and I'm going to go in and darken this crease. And now I'm going to blend it in a windscreen wiper motion, just like that. I'm then going to take a tapered brush. This one is just an old brush from Morphe, but it's a little bit tapered on the end, as you can see. You can take any brush that has like a tip to it towards the end. And I'm going to take this color from the same palette and I'm going to go on the outer corner and dab it on like this. And I'm going to bring the same color halfway into the crease like that can you see there we go obviously i'm taking it down as well and i am then going to take the first brush that i use and start blending this out i'm going to carry on blending until this harsh line disappears and as you can see i'm blending it in circular motions and I'm only blending it in that area where the line is. So as you can see, it's blended in. I'm going to go back in with the original brush and the shade that we used, and I'm gonna pack it a little bit more to make it a bit more dense. Again, going back in into the same direction, just as we originally placed the shade, and blending it again to get rid of any harsh lines. On this side, I'm going to extend it ever so slightly to create like a V. You can leave it as a round shape, but I like to use a V because that makes my eyes look as though they are elongated. And then I'm going to go back in with the same brush again and blend, blend, blend. Very small circular motions. You don't want to see any harsh lines. Now you can see there is a dark effect on my eyes, but without any harsh lines. This is when I'm going to go in with a flat brush. This one is just a flat brush from Kiko. You can take any kind of brush as long as it's a little bit fluffy. Can you see? 
it's fluffy it's not a synthetic brush this is a real hair brush and i'm going to take this shade here and i'm going to pack it onto my brush and what i'm going to do is create a half cut crease with this matte shade it's a matte white so you want to start placing it here and i'm going to create a line like this because i'm creating a fake lid but you want to go above your original lid line because if you have a small lid you're not going to be able to see it if you just go up to here you need to go slightly above that so i am doing it like this i'm going to start from the inner corner and create like half moon And then I'm going to fill in the rest of this. Can you see? Now I'm going to go back in with the original brush and back in with the original shade called Fierce. And I'm going to pack this ever so slightly again into the outer corner. And what I'm going to do is ever so slightly take it into the lid just to create like a nice blend rather than having a harsh line there I'm gonna go back in with the original brush that i use for the matte white color and go in with this again until i'm happy with the blend can you see now that's my blend i'm going to use the same brush that i used the packing brush and the same shade that i was using I'm going to go underneath my eye, very, very close to my lash line. And I'm going to pack it on the outer corner of my eye as well. Like this. Now I'm going to take the dark shade again and I'm going to pack it just on the outer corner to intensify this outer corner a bit more. And I'm just blending it with a very light hand just to not make it look like it's just a blob of colour in one area. I'm going to use the original Milani brush and go back in and blend that out again. And that's the eyelash. So I'm going to go off camera, do the other eye and I'll come right back to show you what it looks like. One eternity later. And voila! I've done both my eyes. Now you can go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm using the Essence Lash Princess Mascara. And voila! So guys, this is the final look. Now, if you want to zhuzh it up a little bit, what you can do is take a small little brush and take a little bit of highlighter. Any highlighter will do. I'm just using this Roxy palette and go in with a little bit of highlighter in your inner corners, just like that to create a little bit of shine and underneath your brow bone, just like that. And there we go. So this is the final eyeshadow look. What you can do is you can go in with any dark color on the outer corner. It doesn't have to be a brown. It can be a purple, a dark purple, or a dark pink, or a dark blue. It can be any color. If you want it a little bit colorful, you can still have that. But this is just a neutral eyeshadow look that I have created for everyday glam bases. If you want to go somewhere and you want a very, very quick look, it looks subtle, it looks muted, and it looks pretty. So what do you think? I hope you liked this video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.